hanging around a few days, so if anyone sees any of that, anyone of that description, make sure you let him know, of course. Well, that was something. Mm. It's just one thing after another, isn't it? Indeed. Never a dull moment. <laughs> I'm glad I could be of service. I'm just, I'm just Cat, glad I should let you know now. Uh, I'm going on a trip for the next few days, so I need to give you uh, some homework, yeah. Right, um... Where are you going? Oh, just some errands. I've got to go to, um... Castle Adwick to pick up some scrolls, uh, some small supplies. Running low here, you see. Right. Mm -hmm. well, Adventure like rule number nine. Uh, Great. So Friends always have their best. Of course. Oh. And if it's not done by the time I'm back, there'll be hell to pay for you. If you don't have a quill, just wait till you do have one. <laughs> Trust me. It would be easy enough. Uh, do you have any quills at the tavern? Um, I'm um, sure Nick has some, or Faye. Nick, I right. know, has one. Yes, I believe Nick does. F Faye That's how I did my last time. I do have spares, yeah, if you'd like one. He's not stupid. The Inquisitors are the Inquisitors because they are the best. They're a branch of military that operate alone because they are capable of things no regular soldier is. If he's hunting me, he would not be staying here overnight for no reason. Someone's tipped him off or something. Maybe. He's M maybe someone when I when I went to the town over I God, I performed in the fucking town circle. That's all I can think of. Someone there tipped him off. People knew where I was from. I spoke there and Tarek. You are on the run. The only explanation the is he know he knows he knows I'm here. Did you notice how the gods brought them in? Or brought in Ollie? They clearly don't know that he's an inquisitor from the Imperial. What was his name? He said his name was Ollie. Was Ollie Oleander. Oleander. He's worked with my father many times. He knows my face. And he knows I'm here. He's going around asking about someone with auburn hair. Get some charcoal. I'm surprised no one have actually questioned it. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. Um, for lying. I... But it's for your own good. And for ours. No need to apologize after. I'm sorry, Kat. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep my promise. I don't think I'm going to be able to train you. I I can't stay here. He knows I'm here, and the longer I sit, he's not going to stop till he's found me, and that puts you all in danger, and I, something happened to any of you. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I...
Minuten. Same as before. Just run west and see where I end up. The farther away from the Empire, the better, right? He did just say he came from Lion's Hold. That's true, he won't be going there again. Indeed. But if anyone sees me, they'll tip him off. <sighs> Where are my books? Oh, Mirandol, you fucking... What the... Hello? Is there a party going on? Yes, you're late. Oh, what a shame. These are my students, and so they're here to learn. <clears throat> Railing for a reason. <laughs> Please be careful. If you're lucky you're not alone. Perfect. What does that mean? Hmm. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll talk later, I'm sure. sure. How are you holding up? <coughs> He's going to stay here until I leave. So, get used to it. Mm, I'm sure he will. Subscribe. Welcome back. What the fuck? I seem to have dropped my coin purse. Have you seen it up here? Pardon? Let me see. Who is that? I don't really know. I don't see anything. I'm sorry. Well, we it's not too much contract. of an issue. Is there something wrong it with him? It should be about 15 no. copper or so, but it is mm -hmm. enough for some bread and ale. Hmm. Have you seen a coin purse around? Can't say I have. You were sitting over here, Sorry, maybe babe. it was, uh... I don't know. I don't... Is it Sometimes possible things get lost that underneath. by accident you may have kicked it in a direction? Mm, probably not. If I had kicked it, I think I would have felt it. It's 15 coppers is 15 coppers after all. Your Captain William Rallet advised me to come up here and search for it. Alright, well. I mean, this is where you were standing, I don't... It's under the bookshelves. It is where you were standing. Is there... Around. May have dropped on the way here. Mm, we had a problem today, as you know, with uh, peasants being upset. Maybe they found it on the floor and took off with it. I did have it in my hand earlier before I came up here. Mm. And then after I left, mm. I could not find it any longer. Well, you did leave your torch I'm sure and I brought it's, you that. It's a very rudimentary yes, carving of Kyla. Yes, I can be quite Kyla. forgetful, as you can see. Right. It is possible that did I dropped it. Did you make this? Hey. Going up all no, I didn't. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, shall we? But I can help you look on the stairs. It's a gift. I made that for you. Undo. You look on the is it a woman? Look on the oh. <laughs> Jesus Fair Christ, enough. can you not? Please. For two seconds. Please be careful with that. I move those books every morning. I'd hate for you to set fire to everything with that torch. I would not burn your books. They're not mine, they're the not Lord's. I'm interested in doing. <laughs> but even more reason for me not to burn any books. Since they are the Lord's. I'm afraid uh, nothing on the upper stairs. A shame. I guess yes. I will have to go to bed hungry. Well, Xavier, hmm? can you prepare us, uh, some food for our guest here? I'd hate for any guest of Lord Gavis's to go hungry. 
Oh, I am no course. guest of Lord Gavin. Oh, but you were escorted here by the Royal Guard. I just happened to strike up conversation with them. Oh. Oh, my apologies. It but is quite all right. still. Seem a little jumpy today. We do have okay. some hospitality here. I came up here expecting Mirandol to be alone. When I find a gaggle. Mm-hmm. I will find no, no, it's my very way. much okay. Apologies. No, I have a few words to Let's share with him. <clears throat> Good things, I hope. I'm not gonna tease him too much about wanting to cut the bridge. Good for me, maybe, not for him. I'm not going to lie to you. But you know, it's if you come by it honest. I'll be lucky if he doesn't shit himself when I'm finished. Fuck. <sighs> yep, indeed. God, I hate travelers. <clears throat> you have no idea. You okay? Who the fuck even is that? What's his importance? Why do we even give a shit who he is? Ah, uh, you shouldn't. <sighs> shouldn't and will anyway because we have to achieve totally different things. Mm hmm. Lucky won't be here long. Passes through Ledford. It's rather comfy up here, though. I it's nice. <laughs> ah, mother. If only you could get into the rafters. I haven't attempted it. My foot's not that great either at the moment. Obviously, you're crippled. I'm sorry, are you? Poor me. Poor you. Okay, I'm crippled. Suffer away. Cry about it. Maybe I will. Good. Music to my fucking ears. Wow. Oh, no. How's the courier? How's the what? Cade, how's Cade? Probably dead. I don't know. He's fine. He's laying in his bed. Okay. So you start that sentence off with probably dead and I get worried. He got worried. You should hmm. have heard what he said. In regards to... I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> don't be worried. Might make you more happy. Mm. Happy in a weird... <sighs> Our good friend Ollie is having supper... <laughs> ...in the tower. Yes. Good friend Xavier's Ollie. Tending to him. Yes, quite Best a good of friends. friend. He's traveled very far. Best friend. You know, Mirandol, you're my best friend. <laughs> Is that so? Mm -hmm. So much so that I want to have a little private chat with you later about stuff and things. Very well. It'll have to be pretty soon, though. Unfortunately, at nightfall, I must leave on a errands, you see. Then your students might as well get the fuck out of here, because it is quite urgent. I suppose so, actually. It's pretty late at this point. Come on, Kat. I'll come look for you in a little bit, okay? I'll walk you back, Cap. Come on. I will, uh, visit again to return my homework. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. You can expect me in the next uh, two or three days or so. Right. I will leave it on your desk in the morning. Just to make sure I get it in on time. Right. And unfortunately, <sighs> Kyla, I cannot have you working uh, your job when I'm not here, so... 
Are you sure I shouldn't come up every morning and check things over? At the very least, maybe just duck my head in, not spend a long time here, obviously. I suppose you've perhaps earned enough trust. See if you can come up with Awen when you do, just to avoid trouble. With Awen? Hmm. I trust Awen to look after the books. Okay. Only if you need to, if you feel the need to, or if the gods don't let you in. Of course. Cat, right. shall we? Yes, we shall. Good night. I don't see you. Good night. So, Cerevis, what did you want to have a chat about? I don't want to cause trouble for the Lord. Right. You'll be concerned when you find I'm feeling rather poor and I'm not eating. No, I'm not. I know why you're here. That should more than cover the cost for what I paid you to do. Thank you. No. What was your name? Xavier. Oh, Savior. My place. Very well. Along. Your services will indeed come in hand. That much I can say. And your place is where is that? Okay. Savior. Savior, what's going on? Are you alright? <sighs> that man is very scary. But at least I was able to keep him off his, off his trail. I don't suppose I could purchase some food off you. I haven't eaten today. No interrogation, it's just. It's just very scary. Wait, you could just kill me and wait. Oh, oh, well, um. The captain just really liked my cooking, and so I they paid me for that. Okay. It looks like the uh, the Inquisitor is going to the tavern right now. Do not say that name. You don't know who he is. He's not oh. an Inquisitor. Mr. Ollie. You don't do oh. know that. But what I would say is... Excuse me, my head. Keep your... so tell me. What the fuck was that? Don't say it. Right. Please. My lips are sealed. You could trust me. I don't suppose I could purchase something from you, Xavier. I haven't eaten today. So you oh, have um, all right. It, it'll have to be small, though, or they'll notice. Oh, upstairs. is it like I can't be upstairs, right? Uh, don't worry about it. I'll find something at the tavern then. Oh, uh, well, okay. Go in there. Uh, wait, what? what is this? Just, just wait here. Just wait here. That I see it, Oh, from the window. In name alone. Your woman. Thank you. Um, yeah, I have some copper. But I believe that the fact that you have pointy ears and purple skin is secondary to all that. Gives you five back. Gives you five back. Uh oh. Sure. Ten is ten is enough. Okay. It's okay. I'm saying that it sounds I was hoping to get some to Arn, but I like don't suppose they'd let me out. No. Or rather, maybe you want to like I said, adventure rule number nine. Friends always have their back. 
Always. Adventurer room. <laughs> you show yourself an adventurer? Oh, <laughs> my father taught me that when I was young. Hmm? He was an adventurer. Is that what you wish to be? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> but to also bring my father from the Empire, but I don't know how I'll do that. Uh, I'll be honest, that's a difficult one. But, step by step, oh, I saw you training. Captain. Make sure you finish the rest. I should vamoose anyway. I'll stay my welcome. Oh, it's very dark. Wow. Suppose I'll see you around. No? I suppose. Very good. Do you know where Mr. Mirandol is? He's upstairs in the scribery, I think. Uh, I need to ask him parchment. Of course. <sighs> Invest in a hat, Drow. <sighs> keep the rain off. Thank you. <clears throat> if I had the money, I would definitely do such a thing. <sighs> Trow, do you know if the scribe is still awake? <clears throat> uh, I believe so. I think he's talking to someone, though. Is there a problem? Uh, tell him that messenger fellow wants to talk to him. Who? The the guy who owns the other drow. Cade. I don't know anyone's name. Just tell him he wants to talk to him. But I uh, can't go in there right now. He's in a meeting, and I don't know if I'll be seeing him before he goes to sleep. Uh, useless. Uh. <clears throat> this Sorry. apologies I'll be fine okay just keep yourself safe and well not long as I'm by you Oh, no. You're up. Have you seen Derek? Yes. I have to find him. No. Okay. Come with me. <clears throat> A good night, Of summer. course. And you too, Captain. Is this about our new visitor? How did you know? Lucky guess. On. <laughs> Covered? Huh. I have something to give you. The two 
dwarf from back in my back in my workplace is sleeping there currently. Has a little schematic thing. Take it to who? I don't know who you're referring to. No, exactly who I'm talking to. It's about that guy behind you didn't. Stay out of the room. I'm already soaked as it is. You getting a cold would be the worst thing you need right now. Cerevith is up there with Mirando, so expect a lot of, uh, well. I shouldn't, but Cerevith no, I don't trust them. I've been told if you... All the way up. And I think we're done here. Very much so. I'm glad you understand. Very much so. Time. I wouldn't tend your bed. It'd be a shame to wake up and have chain marks around your neck, wouldn't it? Oh wait, you wouldn't wake up. <laughs> God. Hmm. What a shame. Hello, cat. Mm. Mm. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> the whole party's here. Sarah was just oh, yeah. on her way out, actually. Might I speak to you for the rest of the night, maybe? Uh... Sure. It's rather important. Good luck with your, uh, expedition, Mirandel, if I don't see you again. Expedition? <laughs> what? Gonna... Yes, I'm Still going on a trip. I'm leaving to perfect. Bust my stitches oh, going up Kyla? and down. Yes. I'm coming back. Hope so. Come on, Kyla. We have much to talk about. Oh, and be careful who you talk to and what you believe. These are dangerous times we live in. Take care. Oh, here. Kyla! Did you not need these? Of course, uh, I'll probably 
um, duck back in your house tonight, if that's okay. Thank you, hon. I suppose he should. I, I'll take a look at it, and then I suppose we can send it to the carpenter. Please. On. I was also told to give it to Arn. <laughs> told to give it to Arn. Well, then I suppose he should take a look. <coughs> at it. Just give me a second. No. We won't go far. Where do you want to go? You tell me. Let's have a chat. Okay. I'm letting you choose. <coughs> You're the one that needs to sit somewhere. Stay out of the rain would be nice. Yeah. Everything okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. His painkillers are starting to wear off. It's okay, we'll get you settled somewhere where you don't have to get back up. How about the barn? That's what I was thinking. There's no hay up there, but we could move some. To get past these fucking morons. Yeah, it's fine, just waltz past them. Yeah, follow me. Hmm. <laughs> supposed to be more of us about but it's just me and fucking you so hey you god <laughs> stop mm -hmm. he's having trouble we're trying to get to our sleeping you place. sounds like you're getting a little mouthy i was just saying hello I heard about goblins and lizards and stuff i'm worried for you you and I built up such that a rapport. That didn't sound right? like a hello. Ah, oh, of course. You need to be like that. Excuse me, sir. He's very injured and we need to sit him down, if you don't mind. He was one of the ones that got everything out of the crit. <coughs> I would like to take him to look at his injuries. Maybe infected with something. Come on, Kyle. <coughs> May I? Kyle. Oh. Come on. Get the f*** out of here. Damn dark knife is. Hmm? What is that? It's a barn, Sarah. What? What? Just stay in the barn. <coughs> Hello? Everything okay? Weird. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I don't know if I'm gonna make you climb. We could just stay down here. Could probably make it if you need me to. <laughs> Noted that this fucking thing is in here. Jesus Christ. You could have thrown me on that last night. I'm sorry. God. I wasn't really looking. How would I explain that to the surgeon? We can stay here for now. Sure. I'm going to check up here for a moment, though. It's pretty much empty. It's up to you, we can go up there or not. Why don't you, uh. I was told. And try to climb. Why don't I what? Roll for it and try to climb. Oh, okay. Chat, roll a d20. <clears throat> Alright, I'll give it a shot. Catch 
you if you fall. Okay. Did you make it? <coughs> I've got to. Ow! 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 I've got to, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to, okay. Oh. Hey, hey, broke your fall. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's what... That's what I fucking told you, did I not? But no one listens to me, because I'm not right about anything. <sighs> Get on the hay. Right now. Wait, can you check my stitches in my back, please? I think one of them popped. <sighs> oh my god, if I have to bring you back to the surgeon. I don't want to go there. We'll have to put a postponement on our talk. Fucking okay, carpet I'm checking. burn. I think one of them popped, but it's fine. It's just a little loose, you'll be fine. Just stop moving around. The fuck, fuck was that? Fuck. Oh. That's a pretty horse. <laughs> Strange. <sighs> yeah, sit on the hay, get comfy. That one, by the way. I got fucking carpet burn of on my it was. foot. Oh no. <sighs> Sorry. Why do you do this to me? Look, I told you to try, and you tried. So, what's this talk about? I'll go easy on you today since it's a bit of a rough day, but. Take this as your first class on drow culture. You said you wanted to know more, right? I do. So I'm going to try to tell you in fragments. And you're just going to have to deal with what I tell you every day. Okay. Can I ask you something first? Well, that's the whole point, is you ask the questions and I answer them. Well, this is an obscure one. Okay. Well, <clears throat> the other night was... <sighs> good. And, you know... <clears throat> but, um... And it helped. Especially after that day, but I... It's, I'm still... I still have the same concerns. And I just want to know... I figured. You avoided a lot of questions, and... The one that I'm worried about the most is, who are you doing this for? What do we do anything for? I'd prefer a straight answer. What do you want me to say? I'm going out of my righteous way to make sure you're a worthy drow? <laughs> I want you to say the truth, ideally. It's an inconvenience to have to teach you what I need to teach you, but I think it's necessary. Culture is very important. Still doesn't I'm answer the question, though, Sarah. I'm not doing it for anyone. Why can't I just do something? Because I think it's right. I don't give a shit if you were to known everything and then still not want to be one. Sometimes we can't choose. Are you going to tell me everything in its truth, in its entirety? Eventually, of course. I don't I don't expect it all at Over once. Time, yes. Promise me that. You wouldn't be able to comprehend it all at once. That's why Mirandol's a fucking idiot. You need <coughs> to be careful around him. Can He's you... going to turn you into something you don't want to be. Which is a man just like him. A coward. Can't do anything correct. Except write down a little book. In the five minutes he can get his head clear a day. Do you want to be like that? Or do you want to be a man? I don't know what I'm meant to be. That's the problem, Sarah. You're a drow, you're meant for greatness, Skylar. 
that does not mean you have to be at the beck and call of a female. I look sad. Chat, please tell me I look deal. sad. Just because I teach you does not mean you belong to me. You could outright and fuck off tomorrow if you wanted to. After I'm done with you, they won't know you ever were on the surface to begin with. I'd be completely different. I don't even have to teach you anything. I just need to refine what you already have. I don't know what I have. You strike like a snake. Your words hurt pretty much too. You're sneaky. You can lie. Deceive. It's not from being a drow, Smile that's in from- the face of someone you don't like. Oh, darling, that's everything having to do with being a drow. You think you just learned that? You think that was just a skill you picked up by living on the streets? No, that's your hereditary muscle memory, honestly. Being able to defend yourself and take care of yourself is basic just knowledge. You don't really need to be taught it. I don't really explain why I'm so, so good at it, I guess. For some reason, you're a little sensitive. You don't really sensitive. You're compassionate. You're <clears> guilty <throat> about things. You don't have... You do have remorse for what you do. It's strange. Are we not meant to? I mean, it's a thing, but it's not something we really practice. It's probably just because you've been on the surface this whole time. Surface dwellers are quite sensitive to everything. Go on, you get three questions today. Maybe five <clears throat> tomorrow. I don't know. Mirandel won't be here, so we can spend more time together. Men being a servant. Being slaves. As it was described to me. Like a By cat idiot. with a fake mouse. You're only a servant if you want to be. This is different from what you were telling me the other night. <sighs> Why the change of tone? Because I was speaking out of a way of, um... Greed. Elaborate? I'm possessive of you. I don't like the way Mirandol tries to... <coughs> oh, my throat's starting to fail. <coughs> ...in things that are natural, like how I'm drawn to you. What? All of it is natural, an instinct. Do you not understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I do, it, sorry, I... What do you mean, drawn? What's... what? You, as a male drow, attract me as a female drow. Simply because of how you look, act, carry yourself. I can't help it. I thought I wasn't anything like a drow, though. So how does that work? It's more like you have something else there. Just can't put my finger on it. It's most likely because you've never stepped foot in the Underdark. I'm exotic. Is that what We're that both is? exotic. Well. You're just not homegrown. Thank you. Men have to make a decision when they are a drow. They can either fend for their lives and not be accustomed to a woman. Or they can accept their lives and live happily, free. They do whatever they want, as long as they listen. It's not that hard. It's like having a boss who loves you. Like you said, there wasn't anything, such thing as love down there. Not like up here. You're sensitive. Touch and small kisses and cuddles are quite cute. 
and I'm sure they help, but... It's more rough down there. It's aggressive. Passionate. It's possessive. Obsessive, even. But we're not there right now, so... Kisses and cuddles it is. How are you feel You're not about in that? any state for any kind of play like that. Well, I apologize, but you'll just have to get used to it. You're not going to like everything. I don't like everything about drow culture. What's your next question? We have two more. You mentioned <clears throat> drow male, good fighters. It was in our body. Mm. Is it? Would it? I'm trying to figure out how to phrase this. Take your time. I'm not a genie. You can reword your questions. Can I wish for more wishes? No, I'm tired. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's say there was a couple, drow couple, and. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> The female became pregnant. Mm -hmm. And the male left. That. And he'd be killed. Probably by the female while she's pregnant. What if that wasn't the case? What, you're saying he escaped? I don't know. It would just cause problems, I guess. It would be looked for. Until they give up if they can't find him. They probably curse him a few times. I've never heard of that, actually. Usually when a drow woman gives birth, the man is ecstatic. More obsessive, even. It's quite an honor. Is it? Pregnating a drow. Yeah. What else? That was such an uh, uh, such a random question. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, kings and queens and oh, I assume it's run by queens. There is one ruler. She's a matriarch. Of the whole drow. I will teach you of all of it. As it should be. I'll teach you about her next time. Okay. Her name is Trislana. I'm 100% going to forget that. Not like you'll ever meet her anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Oh god, what would she think of someone like me? Like I said, she probably doesn't even know we exist. That's okay. One day, everyone will be worthy enough. Mm, what does that mean? Trislana picks favorites, and it is an honor to be one of those favorites. I will talk more about it another time. I don't want to overload your brain. Sure. <sighs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Your wrist was... flew in the air for a moment. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, 
What were you talking about with Mirandor? Well, now what? Hmm? What were you talking about with Mirandor? I was telling him to stop fucking around. Or I'll kill him. Kind of need him. Maybe he'll get the message and stop fucking around. What do you mean, fucking around? It's none of his business what I teach you and tell you. He's just trying to he look after to me. sticking his nose in it. I don't fucking care. He's not your father. He's nothing to you. You need to remember that. Don't die saving a scribe who doesn't even care about you. He's just trying to control you. <laughs> 